guys today we're going to go over editing lead-ins um, and some different ways to do that so in this figure here we have a square flange with um, about four half inch bull holes in it so and um, what we're going to do first is we're going to show you how you can change these lead-ins in the standard software um, and there's a few different ways you can do that first if you want to change them individually you can hover over this little diamond here if you zoom in there's a little it's a a yellow diamond if you click it it becomes red now you'll notice at the right hand side of the screen we have this um, dropout menu uh, we have a few different options for lead in and lead out whenever you're doing internal cuts you want to always be sure um, to I would say just use lead ins um, on anything that's up to quarter inch thick um, when you start getting past quarter inch into you know, a 3 sixteenths half inch material, then you're going to want to start um, experimenting with lead outs. And the reason why is because that kerf is going to drag um, and it's going to start to, it's going to need a slight overburn so that the cut will finish. Um, so first, let's go ahead and show you how to change this individually. And you can do this by selecting each one of these at their diamond, that little diamond there. Uh, once you select it, you can go over to the right hand side. You can either choose an arc lead in, a line lead in, or no lead in. Um, on the arc lead in, it's going to give us a radius designation first. Uh, we have this set to about 110 thousandths of an inch uh, or 0.11. And then below it, we have an angle of 180 degrees. Notice if I change this angle to 90 degrees, click enter, you'll see that we get half of our little arc here. So that's all that's doing is it's taking this. Um, and it's changing the end of that or the start of this lead in and it's giving it a, a larger angle to start from and um, on holes that are half inch and smaller um, I really like to start out cutting from the center and then wrapping out I call it pigtailing into that outer profile um, that'll it'll give you the cleanest edge um, edge entryway when you're cutting these holes otherwise if you start with too tight of a profile so if we do 90 degrees we do 0.06 um, that's going to be really tight when you pierce here, you have an initial pierce delay, and you might start to burn into this outer profile um, while that plasma is burning in and penetrating through the whole thing before it starts executing the outer profile of the circle. Um, so I would recommend starting with, we did 110, and then we did 180, and that puts us right in the center. Now if we want to do a line lead in, we can click on line. And we can do 90, which gives us a perpendicular lead in, and we can go to half of the whole length, 0.25. Um, and that puts us about the center. We can make it a little bit smaller. Um, the outer cut of this is, or, or the overall size of the circle is half inch. So if it looks like this is putting us slightly past the center, that's because we're going off the center line of the torch circle rather than the actual circle itself. Um, so if we wanted to, do that and we could go 0.22 probably be closer to center um, so that's how you do a perpendicular lead in if you want it to stick you just go ahead and click the check mark and then if you want no lead in you can just go ahead and select no lead in um, we're going to do an arc lead in and then say we wanted to edit all of these inner cuts and this would be true for the whole sheet of material how we would do that is we would go up here on our menu and we go to selection we're going to go ahead and click selection and click cut out breaks once we click that now we can go ahead and make the same changes over here in our right hand side menu um, but now if you notice we have all of our little diamonds selected on all of those inner profiles so as we make changes say we do a 90 degree 90 as we make changes to that notice that all of these inner holes update so that's how we would make a change um, and change all of those at the same time if you wanted to change the start position you can physically drag these little diamonds and you can drag them around the circle wherever you would like and it's going to update that lead in um, to start wherever you drop that little uh, uh, diamond or rhombus uh, 
So now we're going to go ahead and do an outer lead in. So I can select this and do the same exact thing. I can do 90 degrees and I can do arc radius uh, 0.11. We leave it the same. Check it. And we can drag that out to the point at the end. Notice if we drop it to the end, it's automatically going to add a lead out. So we're going to lead in with this arc and cut all the way around. And when we come to the end, it's going to pass that pierce point. Um, you notice if you're nesting something like this, um, that lead out, it might start to cut in to uh, it might start to cut into other parts. So I would say you can keep that relatively small. You can make it an eighth of an inch, 0.125, um, and that's a good length for it so that you don't um, interfere with other parts too much. Um, outside of that, um, the only cool other feature um, is, and then you can also, so to recap that real quick, uh, you can either change those outer profiles here, or you can go up to selection and do the same thing with perimeter breaks. And what that would do is it would select all of the outer profiles within a series of nests. Um, so that's how you do that. Um, the only other thing is if you have the pro version software, then you can scroll in on each one of these and you can just grab this little, give you this little red, uh, blue dot here, and you can physically drag that into position and you can make changes that way. Um, on the standard version, you don't have that option, but on the pro version, you do. So that's a nice feature that is offered in our pro version. Um, and those are the two main ways that um, you'll implement a lead in. You can do the same same thing on the outer here. So we can drag that out. You can change the angle as well as changing the radius. So that's all there is to those lead ins. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have any more questions, this was a basic tutorial on lead ins, lead outs. Uh, feel free to ask us those questions that you have. Drop them on our website, drop them on our Facebook, uh, direct message there or on Instagram. So thank you so much, guys, and we look forward to seeing what you do with your CNC Plasma system.